ladies, Deborah Kagan here, your sensual lifestyle specialist, helping women like you rock your mojo in order to feel more confident, self-assured, comfortable in your skin, and living a turned on life. Now today, I'm here to tell you about the four pillars of mojo. Mojo is your life force. It's the energy people feel from you before you ever open your mouth. It's the thing that you were born with and it never goes away. But it can get turned way down, kind of like a stereo on low volume. You sense there's something going on, but you can't quite hear it. So when you know the four pillars I'm about to share with you, you will always, always have access to your mojo, no matter where you are and what's happening. Having access to your mojo at any point allows you to be happier, more fulfilled, enthusiastic about life, magnetic to people and opportunities you're wanting, and you'll be way more confident, comfortable in your own skin, and yes, you will be living a turned on life. So you ready for those four pillars? Okay. Mojo. It's a good four letter word. M is about mindset. Mindset is your life above the neck. It's literally the thoughts that you're thinking. It's your belief system. It's what you have given yourself or you might have adopted along the way that is letting you know what you're creating in life. Because our thoughts are things, ladies. Our thoughts create the words that we speak and the words we speak become the actions of our life. Now, O of Mojo is your oracle, your life below the neck. Your oracle, your body, is where your mojo is stored. Your body houses all of the mojo that you have available to you, and you have a power center in your body, and you can access this at any time you want. J of Mojo is what's called joining with all your roles. Now, all of us are multifaceted, right? Women have so many talents and we have so many capabilities. You have multiple roles that you play in life. You're a mother, you're a businesswoman, you're a CEO, you love to dance, you might have a hobby of horseback riding or knitting. All of these are different roles that come out to play in your life. And when you join with all of them, you feel fully expressed and you will feel fully seen. Now the final O of Mojo is your oasis. Your oasis is the environment that you spend time in. This is your home, your office, and if you live in Los Angeles like me, even your car. The environments that you spend time in literally will dictate how much mojo you have available to you at any given time. And you can create your environments to be overflowing with mojo to support your own. Now, when you have awareness for these four pillars and the tools to work with them, you're, well, as I like to say, you're totally mojo-licious. Now, to get some great free tips on your Mojo tools, and more importantly, how to put them into action, go right now to deborah-kagan.com and access your complimentary gift from me. I am on a mission to see every woman rock her Mojo. So until next time, ladies, get out there and go knock them alive.